Let's get right to it. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And he's got room. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Well, that return gives him a golden opportunity to go out in front. How will the defense respond after giving up that type of a return? Really nice starting field position here for the offensive unit. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. A little eager there coming in from his outside linebacker position. You think the hard count got him there? Yes. Yeah, maybe that extra hut, <laughs> you know, that, that extra emphasis on it, got him to jump, and they picked up five yards. And a great spot to start this drive from here. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. At five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and add in a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. And a new set of downs here after picking up the first on the ground. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. That run right there was an offensive line coach's dream, wasn't it? Guys picked up all of their assignments, created a nice gap for the running back to get through, pick up seven yards. Yeah, he's probably chortling on the headset right now, saying, we got it going, boys. Let's keep it going. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. In their mind, certainly a field goal try would be a letdown. They had the great starting field position. Now facing third down. They'll set up to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Alshon Jeffrey. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have taken a first-quarter lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. First carry for Latavius Murray. And a short pickup there as he'll take this up to right around the 20. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Off the play fake. Wade. Nice job by that defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Wilkes. Trying for the tight end. Ertz, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Champ Bailey. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six, and just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visit. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. <laughs> that means everybody finds someone to block, block them legally, stay on your feet, and they get it done. Touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. 
This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Now this offense about ready to take over again. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Set, to throw again, Wade. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. To throw on third down, Wade escaping the pressure right. He can run for it, and he will. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. They'll try and throw for it here. And it is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. So, Charles, why in the world do you take that risk there? It doesn't make a whole lot of sense on the surface. I've been around enough of these coaches and, and, and enough of these meetings along the way. Sometimes they're so confident in a play call that they don't care about the situation. They think that that play... At that time, they're going to run it and pick up whatever they need. So maybe that's what influenced him there. I'm guessing because I have no other explanation. Yeah, that's tough. Own side of the field, that chunk of yardage to pick up. Head scratcher. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon. It's Orlando in possession of the football here to begin quarter number two. They do, however, have a tough third and long coming up. the backup Mariota. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. And they'll get set here looking for the two-point conversion. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. And how about that? Even after snapping it from back there, they still convert for the two points. Cat and Zero out now as he'll kick this one away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And now back out comes the offense. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores, a three and a Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos, follow me on social media, and once again, thanks for watching.